This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at multicam editing in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to build a multicam clip featuring a PowerPoint or Keynote slide presentation. This next one is so cool. I promised to do it in webinar 86 and then promptly forgot it, but I want to do it now because it's just neat. Okay, this is Dr. Surf, and he's doing a presentation. He's doing an incredible presentation, and when I shot Dr. Surf, I left room for some PowerPoint keynote slides over his shoulder. We can take advantage of a multicam clip and edit the slides in much faster than we, if we did it as a single. So watch this. This is just neat. All right, so let's go back to Project Multicam. Go down to Presenter. Now, what I have done already is I have a bunch of presentation slides. They're not particularly insightful, but they're kind of cool. I've already built them into a multicam clip, and if I open the multicam clip in the timeline, what I've done is notice that each of my slides runs the entire duration of the multicam clip. The multicam clip has been trimmed to run the same duration as Dr. Surf. It runs slightly longer than 24 seconds. I just wanted to save us some time because we've already seen how to build the multicam clip. To change the duration of a slide, just grab the end of it and drag it where you want it to go, and it'll automatically be dragged where you want. I mean, this is standard trimming technique. Okay, go back to Dr. Surf, take our multicam clip, and put it on top. I don't need the audio, so I'll select the audio by holding the option key down and that allows me to select the audio while deleted. I just want the slides and notice that the slides are full screen blocking Dr. Surf. Well let's select that, go up to effects controls, twirl down motion and let's scale these to be say 35 percent. Then we'll raise the slides up, pull the slides over right about there, a little bit more, and Done. Now the reason that my slides are slightly out of alignment is because I've also got the multicam monitor opened. And if I wanted to, I could drop in Action Safe and Title Safe and get this perfectly okay. But for right now, it's just ducky. So watch this. We're now going to turn on multicam and show multicam preview monitor. I now need to turn off V1. As soon as I turn off Dr. Surf, which is not part of the multicam clip, my multicam slides show up up here. So I'm going to edit them. Here's what Dr. Surf is saying. Schools, schools have to teach basic technology skills. There's no way out of this. Our world is boiling with new technology. And as time goes on, it just expands and, and evolves even faster. If we don't have a fundamental understanding of our technological environment, we would survive no better than a caveman would who didn't understand the habits of a saber-toothed tiger. Now, look at what we just did. I have the slides already in position, and by simply editing through here, I was able to listen to him and make the slides change in real time rather than have to drop it in one slide after another. Is that cool or what? <laughs> The key is you have to turn off the track that's not part of your multicam, V1. Your multicam slides will show up. And remember, you can have an unlimited number of layers in a slide, and still frames take zero space. And you just simply edit that puppy through. And in fact, if you need to have multiple multicam slides, say there's 72 slides in the presentation, create two 36-slide multicam clips or three 20 slides and do group one here and group two there and group three there. Now let's just select all of them, type command D as in David, and I've now added a dissolve between them. So just as you can add dissolves between individual clips, I can add dissolves between a multicam clip, select it, type command D, and as long as we're just adding a little bit of cleanup to this, let's look for the word drop and find drop shadow. Drop it on top of the first slide. And let's load that up into the effects control. And let's give ourselves a little bit more drop shadow, a little bit more distance right about there, a little bit more softness right about there. And look at that. Instant drop shadow. Select it. Command C to copy it. Select the other clips. Go to edit. Paste attributes, drop shadow, and click OK. 
And now I've got the same drop shadow pasted everywhere. So when I look at this, go up to here. Here we go. Schools have to teach basic technology skills. There's no way out of this. Our look at that. I've got dissolves. I've got drop shadows. And I've edited it in real time. This is a fraction of the time to have to drop each of those clips in and drag it to suit. Just You can knock that thing out in a heartbeat. That is just really cool. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at multicam editing inside Premiere Pro CC. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz store and look for Webinar 133. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. Access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 800 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in depth and all up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. Thanks.